having Pablo around the Columbus badge for the two months he was here was really a something I miss, and I think a lot of us miss having Pablo around too. Um, although most of us are 22, 23 years old, uh, not that old. Pablo brought a lot of youth to the Columbus program. Because we have an intern uh, that we want you to mentor, and I said yes to it. And then he tells me he's from Oxford, and I'm like. Mm. How? <laughs> Pablo is probably one of the most curious people I know. Like, like he's he's open minded. He's open minded. He's very always looking to learn about mm. anything and everything. What does he knew so many languages? So he was fluent in four languages: Spanish, Spanish, Portuguese, French, and English. Mm -hmm. Would any of you ever do this as a 19-year-old? No. Like you're coming to hang out with a bunch of you I don't think that far. College burnout. I didn't plan that far. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> it was such a cool opportunity for him to come too because he was able to go shadow accounts that we couldn't shadow until two, two and a half months into our program here. And so within two, three weeks, he was already on accounts looking, what are you doing? What are you working with? And I think um, uh, he was here he was able to really explore those curiosities. I know. He got to uh, work with us on the Columbus program and learn different um, coding languages, but he also got to learn about whichever accounts he wanted to and shadow them. He got to speak with uh, the founder, Diraj. So, first question. If you had a billboard and you could put it anywhere in the world, where would you put it and what, what would you put on it? <laughs> I would put it right outside my university. Which one? The one you would say? Yeah. And say so much for formal education. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Would you, if you could get more, would you also put one outside of the Chicago school? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Yeah. You, how would you describe that, that new Sigmund attitude? I think. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's an attitude of not, uh, you know, how or what, or or even why, but it's an attitude of why not. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an attitude which is very childlike. Uh, it's got a university-like feeling. Uh, yeah. In okay. a world where uh, many many universities are run like businesses. Uh, with tuition fees going up and up and up and uh, people, uh, you know, people going through this, uh, business schools especially are run like that. Uh, in that world, here we are as a company um, that is run uh, like a university. It's a business that runs like a university. It's a business that believes that, uh, you know, learning and teaching is extremely important. It's a business that believes in young people. It's a business that believes in their potential. Uh, and uh, it, it's a business that's uh, bold uh, in its approach to uh, the bets it will make on a constant basis. Um, so. And yeah, I think, I think you're right. That that's one of the things that attracts a lot of people. Here now, yeah, the, the opportunity to grow, yeah, and the challenge to, like you were saying, to overcome your fears. Sure, sure. Uh, okay, a final question: What advice would you give your younger self? Lots of advice. Uh, what would be the most, the most important one? Enjoy the present moment. It will fly away <laughs> very, very quickly. Yeah. I... Some very good advice. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs>